everybody welcome back today it is not a happy day as i finally realized what is wrong with my Bellara marfich howard's dream about one month ago i had four pseudo bulbs that got rotten this plant was purchased from the london orchid show from equagenera and at that time it already had those pseudo bulbs a bit orangish in color but nothing seemed wrong so i ignore it they weren't mushy back then. You can see on the video in the right corner of the screen how they looked when I have purchased them. A month ago they got rotten, similar to this pseudo bulb that is rotting right now. To remove the rotten pseudo bulbs I have cut the rhizome and I have discovered this purple reddish circle. But at that time I didn't know about fusarium and I thought it is a trait of the flowers that are also purplish in color. If you know, sometimes uh, Phalaenopsis uh, flower spikes can be purple in color. Also, on the underside of the leaves, Phalaenopsis can be purplish in color when the flower itself it is purple. So I thought it is something uh, about this. Of course, it was a very wrong assumption. Recently, Bumblebee did a very informative video about Fusarium on Vandas, and this is how I have found about it. Additionally, I had read many articles online that talk about Fusarium, and you have them in the description of this video in case you are interested to read them. Fusarium blocks the flow of moisture to the plant's vascular system. It can infect a plant through orchid roots by invading the rhizome of recently divided plants. The pathogen is often spread through water splashes, by sharing water, by improper hygiene, generally as a result of no using non-sterilized cutting tools, which can transfer the fungus from plant to plant. Infected leaves are yellow, thin, shriveled, wrinkled or wilted and will eventually die. Severely infected plants may die in a matter of a few weeks, while a plant that is not badly infected will gradually decline over, um, over the years. The diagnostic symptom it is a circle or band of purple or purplish reddish discoloration on the outer layers of the rhizome, evident when the rhizome is cut. If the disease is extensive, the entire rhizome may turn purple and the, and the discoloration may extend to the pseudobulbs. My orchid has sit next to others and was watered with a hose so I have a high chance of some other orchids get infected but only time will tell. Infection can also appear when the substrate of the plant it is too low in temperature, though I don't know what too low means. Roots begin to rot at the base of the plant and develops a black dry rot. Sunken spots of the leaves enlarge and form yellow streaks. Older leaves become leathery and young leaves may become reddish. The flower spike can develop sunken, rotten spots and premature bud drop. Like you see in this picture here, this is a different phalaenopsis that I have bought uh, recently from Romania and um, it seems that also it has um, fusarium. But uh, these plants never sit next to each other so uh, they didn't uh, get uh, the infection from uh, each other. The treatment uh, of this plant it is very hard to achieve. This plant cannot heal itself, you can only discard infected parts of the rhizome and pseudo bulbs if the purple band is evident and you need to do that by cutting each part until you see no more purple discoloration and I would recommend you make sure you cut into healthy tissue. Be vigilant in disinfecting growing area and cutting tools. Each time the cutting tool contacts infected tissue, it should be sterilized before making a second cut. In Phalaenopsis and Paphiopetalums, you only can discard the infected plants as um, they will not heal itself. As I have this plant here, this Phalaenopsis, it will uh, most probably die. It had already lost four bottom leaves and uh, I have uh, found a lot of um, dead roots and uh, if you can see at the base of the leaves the 
black uh, margins that uh, indicate of a uh, black dried rot and um, yeah I'm pretty sure it won't survive but uh, I will keep it separate and see what it happens. The prevention is generally a matter of following proper hygiene. This is why I always say use gloves when you handle your orchids, sterilize your cutting tools after each use because of the weird signs this orchid had when I have originally purchased it, I am sure it came with the disease. It is coming from Ecuador and these plants had gone through some stress being wrapped in moist moss in a plastic bag for a lot of time before they were imported in the, U in the UK. But I have also purchased very vigorous plants from Equagenera. Don't make the wrong assumption that if you have a plant from a specific nursery that is sick, all of them are sick. I am sure each nursery has at least one plant that has a disease or pests. It is impossible to buy from nurseries and expect that all the plants are perfectly healthy with no pests or root rot. Plants are alive creatures and they can get sick. And like mine, the signs are hidden sometimes, and the seller doesn't know the plant he is selling to you is sick, but they are still due to refund you. I will discard my orchid, as it is badly affected, doesn't grow anything, and I do not want to infect anything else. Also, I will contact Ivan, I am sure he will refund me. Thank you for watching, I hope you never get this disease. If you have liked this video and you found it useful, hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel because I post new orchid videos every single Monday and Friday. Thank you for watching, bye bye!